Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new book review. And this time I'm going to share with you the Psychic Awakening Saga of the Beast. Uh, this is the one uh, of the Space Wolf against Orcs. Uh, I know that it's not new, it has been out for a while, but yeah, uh, I ordered it before the COVID and it just arrived. Okay? So it's not. The thickest one, and we're talking here, 79, 70, 80 pages, okay? Uh, we have, uh, well, this nice counter cover. And here we have the introduction. We have, uh, well, always have this type of introduction in the Games Workshop books now. Uh, yeah, and the, the book is divided by this first part that is going to be more or less background. And then we have the missions, the Space Wolf and the Orcs. So here we talk about the devastation. Uh, you can see all this map. It's quite scary to see how many wah there are in the Imperium. Okay, if all this is green, yeah, I'm wondering. Yeah, the Imperium is almost destroyed, right, at this point, and there is only one of the enemies. So I'm wondering when the no necrons are coming. It's going to be more green even. So we have here the all the background and the history about the fight between the orcs and the and the space wolves okay uh, then we have here the echoes of the awakening more background and then we go this is the first part that is uh, about see 20 pages of, of um, background okay of the 80 so it means 25% uh, is background then we have the missions and we have first the theaters of war that are uh, background or generic rules for the missions that you can apply. Then you have the um, different uh, missions that you can play. So we have here the drone of the bees, armored interdiction. Quite curious deployment. Well, this one is very curious, cleans the hull. Okay, so we're talking here. Three missions plus the theaters of war, and it's just about ten pages on the missions, and then we go to the space wolves. The space wolves we have no Ragnar Blackmer, uh, Blackman, the new um, um, character, well, the, the new version of him, and we also have the yeah the rules for the space wolves. What is all the fun? So this is a little bit of. Background. Then we talk. They talk about the abilities they have, and here we have the profiles. So we have Ragnar, Blackman, Wolf Priest, Intermediate Armor, and Wolf Priest. And then we have the different primaries. Okay, we have the primary Wolf Priest, the Wolf Lord, Infobus Armor, the primary Battle Leaders Infobus Armor, the Run Priest Infobus Armor, the Intercessors. The infiltrators, the incursors, uh, and the victor tactical war suit, the suppressors, eliminators. So you have all what you they have given to the other um, uh, specimen, right? And the repulsor and the impulsor. Then we go to the Lords of Winter and War, where uh, is is more specific rules like we have in all the other uh, factions. Okay. So we have the Vanguard Warlord Traits, we have no new Space Wolf Stratagems, and then we have the Obscuration Discipline and the Litanies of Battle, as we have seen for the other Space Marines. Okay, so they are just um, equalizing the Space Wolves to the rest of the Space Marines. They also have their own Relics, and we have here all the points for these units. Name Generator. I always like this name generator, I use it from time to time. It's fun to put names to your characters. And then we go to the orcs. So you can see orcs are starting on page 70, so it's just 10 pages. And most of the book is about the space wolf, we have to say. So we have the ways of the orc. We have Gathkul, Thraka, Thraka. And then we have the profile of the Gathkul, Thraka, Makari, and Big Mac with a um, custom force field. Uh, yeah, I was not aware that this, this is a classic one as well, so I'm really happy to see Makari back 
from second edition. So Macari was uh, there in second edition. And I think it's a very, a very nice touch to see that Macari is back with the gas cool. It's the Gretchen with more luck in the world, in, in the universe. Then we have the Orc Stratagems and the Specialist Mops. Okay. I guess this is like to make to make your own clan again. Let me see. So orcs from the specialist mobs giving skins who share uh, an enthusiasm for less common obsession and group together with other uh, like minded orcs with a uh, propensity for certain uh, subculture. When you include a clan unit in your army, instead of uh, nominating which clan that unit is from, you can instead nominate which is special. So you can, this is just in the clan, so we will not have the clan benefits, we will have some different benefits that are described here. Um, and then we have the custom jobs. That are the relics. We have the psychic powers and then we have the orcs name generator. So for example, with here we have Daka Daka, Daka Dak, sorry, Daka Dak, Daga Fist, I like this one. We have Fark Snot, the Maniac. Okay. And here we see more pictures. That's all. So this is Psychic Awakening, Sag of the Beast. I get lost. I don't know exactly what number is this one. It's, I think, I think it's a six or seven. I'm a little bit lost on how many they have for this. I don't know if they put the number. I need to put them in order. No. And just see how. Okay. So, yeah, this is um, another review on the book. So, I hope you have enjoyed this one. Please let me know. Uh, I am enjoying these books. I think they are, they are quite interesting, but at the same time, uh, it's, it's a type of, of book that uh, takes me in. Yeah, have a double feeling, right? So for a, for one side, I like it, right? Because you see more background, they explain you more histories, and you have updated rules. On the other side, it forces you though to go with two books if you want to use rules from the Psychic Awakening, and it's adding more complexity and when you want to do the army and so on. But yeah. I guess if in the future we have a good app to do the armies, although I use today, I use uh, non-official apps to do that, but in the future there is official app, uh, like we have in, in Age of Sigma, uh, this also will facilitate to make the armies and you will not be that dependent on the books to have all the rules. Okay, that's all what I want to do here, I hope you have enjoyed. Please let me know what do you think about these books and as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!